Have you ever sneezed so hard that you pull a muscle in your neck? That's That's been my day today. Hey guys, I'm Ari Ray and welcome back to more Guild Wars 2. So I'm super addicted still and I wanted to get back to playing this already. I'm actually way ahead of the actual videos I released. I think I still got one more to edit. One I released today, uh, it's Wednesday, and then another that I have to edit and this will be the one after that. Oh no, actually I think there's two more I have to edit. Yeah, I'm, I'm way ahead of the actual videos being released. I'm going to try to edit them faster and just release them faster since I've been on such an MMO kick and I've been having so much fun with this game. As you can see too, my character's appearance has changed. Okay, I still had one of the makeover kits that I had in my inventory from when I used the gems to buy the stories and stuff. And I was going to use it on a different character, but I don't know, for now they're alts and I don't even actually know how I'm going to like them or how they're going to play. So I'm going to probably play through those classes because I may or may not keep them. But I'm definitely keeping this character, so I decided I wanted to give her a different look. She's got a curly fro and I love it. She's also rocking the vigil armor because I thought it was appropriate. My dog is barking. She does this. I've tried to record this three times. Every time I start speaking, she starts barking. Okay, I'm so serious. She just does not want me to record this video right now. She's like, shut up, I don't care. She's sitting there staring out the window and she barks at nothing. Like there's nothing out the window. She just starts woof, woof. Every she's doing it again. Every time I start speaking, I am not kidding you. I think she hates me, hold on. <laughs> this is gonna be a painful episode to record. I can tell she's not, she is not gonna let me have peace right now. Anyways, I wanted to continue on with the story because I want my revenge against Zaitan for killing Forgo. I am so pissed he killed Forgo, okay? I enjoyed Forgo. I liked Forgo. He was fun, okay? Warmaster Forgo was fun and he was killed. So we have teamed up with our plant brother from a tree mother in order to try to get revenge. And last episode, we went with the pale tree or through the pale tree or the pale tree like put us in the dream like i don't freaking know but we went into this world of ore and we saw visions of the future and she gave traherne a sword and she told him he has to oh my god my dog again but she told him he has to like bring all of the people together because they are all split apart, which we saw when we first had that meeting with Logan and all the others when he was pissed off at the char. I actually went and did a little bit of research on that just because I wanted to know what was going on. I read the article about Glint and that was enough up into the certain point where I think it starts talking about Path of Fire on the wiki, which was no spoilers. I only read up to the point basically where she died because they said in that flashback or in that mission that it resulted in Glint and Snaff dying. And so I didn't know who they were and I wanted to know who they were. So I went and looked that up and I heard or read about the whole story with Glint and how, okay, she was like the daughter of Kralkatorik, which is one of the elder dragons who makes like the crystals people or the crystal ones, the branded, which are like, you actually fight a lot of them in this game. But, um, yeah, and I think that they said that his one of his minions is the Shatterer, which is one of the big dragon things. That, like the first big world boss that I fought randomly because I just ran up and started fighting the big dragon. That apparently was another one of Krakatorik's like minions. Oh my god, my dog is not letting me record this right now. I am so serious. She's so mad at me. I don't know what her problem is, but she will not stop like woofing in the background. So I do apologize, but you know... Um, so the Shatter is another one of his minions, but Glint was his daughter and she was like under his control for a long time. And then when he went to sleep, because the Elder Dragons sleep and they wake up, they go through like cycles of sleeping and waking up. And when he went to sleep, she ended up being purified. So she, he no longer controlled her. And then she decided to basically betray him and work with the humans and like the dwarves and stuff and they had this whole plan to take him down when he woke up and it involved her children she had like um kids or eggs or whatever and it involved her kids and everything but then the humans thought that she was betraying them because Kaith told them that she was betraying them and they went to go like fight her and she easily took them down, but she didn't want to like hurt them. And she understood that they were just, they didn't understand. She explained to them her plan. She had this like 
javelin or spear or dagger that was made out of Krakatorik's blood. And there was this whole plan that Snaf came up with to like incapacitate him or something and then use the dagger or the spear to kill him. And she ended up sacrificing herself in this fight after Krakatorik like woke back up and knew that she betrayed him. And she sacrificed herself to keep him busy and distracted. But because Logan abandoned them to go protect Queen Jenna during, I think it said an ogre revolt or something like that. Like, um, Snaf ended up dying be because the branded attacked him and uh, Ritlock, who is the char that hates Logan, was not able to hit that final blow against Krakatoric, basically meaning that it all went to crap. And everybody blames everybody. So, you know, uh, lots of stuff happened. And then they disbanded Destiny's Edge, which is what they were called. The guild was called. And they disbanded after all that stuff happened. So I did do a little bit of research in the background. I do want to understand the lore of the game. I think that it's very interesting. And I like storytelling and lore and stuff. So I'm actually really interested in knowing what it is. So I did go do some research about that because I really wanted to know. But right now, I want to go get revenge, okay? I want to get revenge. And so our mission right now now is to join the gathering at Claw Island Pier. So let's get going because I want to kill Zaitan. So let's go do this. So I see Gix stumbled out of his library and the preceptor crawled out of her hole. I see you're not letting mm. rationality mm. get in the way of your ignorance, Almora. How predictable. Who are you calling ignorant, you twitchy little bookworm? Wonderful. I see we're off to a running start. The Order of Whispers needs allies, not infants. Enough bickering, all of you. Our real enemy lurks across the waves. Zaitan's servants march at the gates of Lion's Arch. We must band together, or we will all be destroyed. When I joined my order, I swore to fight Zaitan. I will die for Tyria if I must. However, I believe that together we can win. The Vigil has shown tremendous courage in the fight against the dragons. This alliance will require courage as well. Why back down now? The Order of Whispers has seen nations rise and fall. You cannot hide from this threat. You need to make a stand. And who knows more about the dragons than the Priory? Just think of how much there is to learn. Where else but in Orr? By the worlds of eternal alchemy, you're bold. But you're correct. Knowledge is useless if it is not used. We shall aid you. The Order of Whispers has worked for generations to bring nations together. We can do no less now. Our blades are yours. The Vigil fears nothing, not even ill-tempered, undisciplined louts like these two. We'll join, but I insist there's a decent hierarchy. Who will lead this compact? Logic dictates that it cannot be a member of any of our orders, lest one be seen as above the other two. Quite a conundrum. I've already considered that. Traherne, you've never joined an order, yet they all respect you. You've studied Orr all your life. Will you lead us? I... I never wanted to be a soldier. I'm only a seeker of truth. But, yes, I will lead this pack to the gates of Ara, and together, we will see Zaitan destroyed. First, to Claw Island. Let us send our defiant message straight into the heart of Orr. Tyria stands as one. All my life, I've watched Orr, studied it. Research the abominations that Zaitan spawns. I have avoided the challenge of my wild hunt. I hid, always claiming I was not yet ready. I did not think all could be cleansed. I feared failure, but you're right. It is time to act. We'll either cleanse the land or return to it. All right, our plant brother from a tree mother, this is your time. Our destinies are intertwined, remember? According to your mama, we are supposed to work together. You as the leader, me as the muscle. You guys know how this works. All right, let's get to Claw Island so that we can get this revenge going. Join the assault on Claw Island. All right, guys, we're on the boat. Let's do this. Okay, Fibar. 
Um, are you going to do your weird justice talk again? Let's see what he has to say. Salt spray, sunlight through acid-filled clouds. It's a glorious day for an epic victory. Agreed. Where's the rest of your crew? Up deck. The Order of Whispers fellow Doran and them guarding and has them guarding some specialists. You better get up there. Good idea. Attend the strategy meeting on the deck. How do I get on the deck? Okay, this way. All right. Our company is complete. Now that we're assembled, we can begin the briefing. Marshal Traherne, sir. I'm Efoot, liaison for the vigil troops. The Lion Guard are clearing some road, but the inner courtyard gate is blocked. My Priory Explorers brought a biomantic siege capacitor, Marshal. Our top mystics have been working on it for some time. It could be useful. I've heard of that device. Whisper's agent stole a copy of the blueprints, but we couldn't figure out your bizarre telemetry. There's a working prototype? Of course. Nothing's beyond the Priory's intelligence. Unfortunately, it's a portable model, so it lacks the power to blast through a fortified gate. What if we amplified this capacitor in some way? Clever. The signal towers use magical panels to increase brightness. If we reversed the panel's direction and adjusted the enchantment, we could amplify the beam. It's improvised off the cuff and madcap, but you know, it just might work. Still, there are far too many undead between here and the signal tower. Leave that part to me. The Vigil may not understand your boo-boo, matic, wheeze calculator, but we know plenty about killing undead. Then we have a plan. Commander Efoot, move out. Your Crusaders can guide the way. All right, we're following the commander. Join the escort Zot to the signal tower. All right, so we're working with the super smart people and the sneaky, sneaky, stab, stab people, um, who also sound actually kind of smart. So I think I, gra I joined the right order. They're just more like, a, I don't know what the frick you're talking about, but let's just let's just kill things. I know what to do when I have to kill things. Oh, these things are invulnerable. Am I not where I'm supposed to be? Oh my God, I'm supposed to be back this way. I have run past where I was supposed to be this entire time. I apparently uh, have no chill. I've, I've mentioned that in the past, and it, it remains true to this day. There is zero chill here. Okay, looks like we made it to where we're supposed to be up here, so we just gotta wait. Defend Zut while he reconfigures the amplifier. Okay. Alright, so we're just killing things again. Just mass killing of all of the undead. Alrighty, we can do this. Let's get this done. One reconstellated configurer coming up. confused like we needed to do this to blow up the door didn't weren't we the ones who closed the door in the first place so that the things couldn't get out to follow us or did they close the door behind us like i thought when forgo went back in and he sacrificed himself that we closed the door sure thing lady we got this um let's run in charge men Charge! Look, I'm matching them all. That's why I wore my vigil gear. Though I don't have, like, a die that's as dark as theirs, so I can't do it that, that good. Well done. We've secured the docks. What about the courtyard, Marshal? That big dragon thing will be on us the minute we charge in there. We need to retake the ramparts and deploy siege weapons. Then we can cover the sky while we clear the courtyard. I can help there. Priory alchemists have crafted special ammunition to weaken champions like that one. We can force that monster to the ground. Once you get it down, we'll get it dead. Put your trust in Vigil Steel. 
All right, let's go. Oh my God, I can see inside your head. That's weird. Escort Treherne to the central rampart. Okay, Treherne, where you at? Where, where are you? Okay, here he is. Where you going, boy? I'm supposed to be escorting you. Stop running away. Come on, my plant brother from a tree mother. Oh gosh. Oh my, oh my God. Okay, I, I rolled off a cliff last time I was here. We're not doing that again, okay? It would be preferable if I don't roll off a cliff for a second time uh, while visiting this island. I'll coordinate and command from here. Go with Winnet and retake the siege points. The plague bringer must be brought down. Will do. All right, let's go. Your sword has butterflies around it. That's so beautiful. <laughs> I like your sword, Traherne. All right, let's get it on with. Let's get up in this piece and defend. I actually killed the things here because I ran past Traherne when I first got here, so... This one should be relatively easy <laughs> because I actually killed everything that was standing here before I knew what I was supposed to be doing. So a, a, a little bit, a little bit trigger happy. We good? We good? Can I move on? I think, I think I can move on. Let's kill these things. Second verse, same as the first. Kill all the things and stand in the ring. There we go. Here we go. do -si do round and round. Standing in the circle, waiting for the bubble to fill up all the way so we can keep on going. Okay, that's the second one. Let's hit the third. We're going to run all the way around and kill as many things on the way as we possibly can. It's probably the least efficient way to get there, seeing as the shortest way from point A to point B is a straight freaking line. But we're going to go in a circle because why the heck not? Alrighty, so we just stand here and uh, enjoy the view. Let's just wake this guy up and be very nice here while we just wait for our timer to tick away here. There you go, buddy. Alright, let's do it, courtyard. Alright, so we just clear the courtyard, push back. Oh my god, this stupid message. Clear the courtyard, push back the risen horde. Gotcha. Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Okay, courtyard is clear. We are in the blue, so we just need to wait for this to tick away. Let's do this. If only Forgo was here to see this. Look at us, Forgo. Look at what we've done. We shall get revenge for you. Girls, troops, wait for the dragon to come around, then make a coordinated strike. On my order. Wait for it. There it is. There's that jerk. The reason that Forgel's dead, we're gonna take him out. Let's get him. Fire. Let's get this big ugly thing. Kill the blight gas, the plague bringer. This is not Zaitan. I thought that this was Zaitan. Okay, maybe I've misunderstood this entire time. I thought we were killing Zaitan, so this is, this is not him. This is something called Blight Gast the Plague Bringer. Ow! Oh no! I mean, it's so huge. I guess I just stand here and hit its little hand. <laughs> It's like, I'm, I'm like, I'm on the floor and I have like, a, oh no, I'm gonna die. That's what's gonna, oh no, I'm dead. Okay, well, that's, that's not good. I don't have to like, do this whole thing over, do I? I don't want to do it over. Please don't make me do this whole thing over again. If I have to do this whole mission over, I think, I think I'm gonna do it later. I'm not, I, I, I don't want to do it all over again. Oh my God, it's dying so slowly. I'm gonna so die. There's no way I'm recovering from this. I think I just need to let myself die, but like... <laughs> I don't want to do this over! Okay, good. I don't have to do this all over again, but why did it put me all the way back on the freaking ship? I mean... I gotta run all the way back over there, so if you guys can kill it before I get there, that'd be nice. Seriously, gotta run back from like all the way out of nowhere just to get back to the fight. Like you guys couldn't have put a checkpoint like in the courtyard here. Cause like, can I just stand here and let them kill it? 
and not even really participate because they're doing oh my god it apparently scared me and i ran away anyway so like what the heck but i mean they seem to be doing a, a mighty fine job on it my, themselves so like why am i running out here trying to uh trying to help i don't understand just let them do it they you guys have been killing it you know Oh my god, see, something kills me and I friggin' die so fast. What is killing me? The poison. Okay, it, it poisons me. And I'm dead again. Well, that's... That's pleasant. Okay, so I'm standing back up again. Uh, after that. I'm gonna stand here and watch you guys kill it. Because apparently every time I get close, I friggin' die instantaneously. I don't even see where the poison breath is going. Like, so there's like a red ring here. Uh, I'm gonna try to get out of combat here so that I could maybe, you know, get my health back. There we go. Beautiful. Now, I'm not in, like, combat. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't actually know what is... It's obviously the poison, but I can't see his poison breath when he blows it, so... Ah, okay, I saw the poison hit me that time. It's like little balls or whatever. No, that's this stupid thing, isn't it? Get the heck out of here. Okay, we killed it. Whatever. We did it. We recaptured Claw Island. And in so doing, saved Lion's Arch as well. I do not know what lies ahead of us, my friend. But for the first time, I have hope. Hope? that this alliance can save Tyria from the dragons. Hope for the future. Hope for all. Hope for all. Check in with... What the frick? Stop with the swinging. Okay. A lot of work ahead of us. What did you, what did you really say? We wouldn't have won this battle without you. Thank you. Wait, am I supposed to be over here talking to him? Well done, Crusaders. Bravely fought. All right, let's talk Victory. to Ifit. If you'd asked me yesterday, I'd orders. say that the defending the plague bringer, that defeating the plague bringer was impossible. You showed us that it could be done. Horrible. We'll be proud of you. I know. I miss him so much. I'm proud of what we achieved together. Oh, I had to salute them back. Brothers in arms, vigil. Vigil for life. All right, let's go and um, chat over here with- We did it. We defeated the plague bringer. All right, so this is Dorian Velasquez. The Order of Whispers never thought to see the day of one of the greatest champions of Zaitan fall. You did this, Marire. Together, we will do more. I don't know what that command is. Is it bow? There we go. To you all as well. All right, let's go. Um, and what let's check in with Wendy. You realize this pack? Where is she? Oh, she's up here. Okay. Well done. She's sitting there looking awful depressed. You okay? Without your spirit to guide us and Traherne's strategy, we would have surely failed. I look forward to a more splendid victories and discoveries. It's been a pleasure. Okay, I guess she's not gonna like nod or bow or anything like that. So whatever, that's cool. All right, let's go and see what Traherne is up to up here. Traherne, my plant brother from a tree mother. We did it after I died twice, but let's just forget that part happened. This is a momentous day. The tide of history has changed, Traherne. Indeed. Many people doubted. Even the Orders weren't truly certain it could be done. Never before has Tyria been so united. Let Orr hear the echo of this battle. We can defeat the dragons. We will. Zaitan waits at the center of Orr, surrounded by a nation of undead. The battle to destroy the dragon will not be easy, but it can be won. There is a ruined fortress at the edge of Orr, south of the Shattercleft Hills. From that high cliff, you can see the spires of Orr rising beyond the Straits of Devastation. We will take this fort and make it our own. The Pact will rebuild it. 
We will place our banners, and from there we will strike at the dragon's heart. I will make plans with the leaders of the orders and gather troops at that location. You deserve some well-earned rest, my friend. Join me when you are ready, and together we will find a way to slay Zaitan. Okay, we should confer before you leave, Mari Ray. Do you have any questions? This new pact, how will it function? I spoke briefly with the leaders of each order, and they agreed that each would des designate an individual leader for their troops in Or, all reporting to me. We, do we know who those leaders will be? For the Order of Whispers, Doran Velasquez from the Drummond Priory, Winnet Fairhaired, Fairhaired, yes. Wh uh, Warmaster Effort will organize the vigil's troops. As I serve the vigil, will I be reporting to Effort? No, your place is at my side as second in command of the pact. I need you to help me keep all three of the orders unified. I'm honored. What else should I know? I know a ruined fort from the coast of Or. It will take work to make it defensible. Defensible. I could freaking read sometimes. But from there, we can strike directly at the heart of Zaitan's forces. It needs a name that will inspire those stationed there. Any ideas? It's been so busy preparing for Claw Island, I haven't, I haven't given it much thought. Do you have any suggestions? We are three groups combining together as one. How about Fort Trinity? That's perfect. Now I must gather our resources and organize the troops to march south to the coast of Or. I'll meet you there. Good luck. I'll see you soon. We did it! We did it! We did it! Yay! This far, no further. Completed. You liberated Claw Island from the undead and swore to strike back at the heart of Or. Awesome sauce. We did it. And we got another mastery point that we cannot use, apparently, because I can't do anything with this. Like, it keeps telling me that I can't do this until I have uh, completed the story Torn from the Sky or Journey to the Crystal Desert and complete the story step Sparking the Flame to unlock mastery tracks. So I need to go and do whatever that is and whatever mission that is. I'm hoping to creep my way there little by little. I mean... What's this? Oh. Rare regalia. Lesser vision crystal. Okay, whatever. So I don't know what that is right now, so it's not that important to me. But go to Lion's Arch to receive new orders. Might as well check out what that is. So report to Traherne about the campaign against Zaitan. Let's go see what our new orders are going to be. I'm walking on water. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> Nothing was loading for a minute. Oh, read Traherne's letter. Okay, I'm going to say I'm in Lion's Arch. All right. Regarding the critical mission, my friend, it's time to begin the pack's unified effort against Zaitan. Our future headquarters is already under construction, but I need your input on another important matter. I have called in representatives from all three orders to present my initial proposal on packed command structure, logistics, combat strategies, and other vital issues. I need you there. Please join me in Concordia as soon as you can. Traherne. Okay, we can do that. Where is Concordia? What is that? I don't know. Okay, it's over here. All the way over here. I actually am going to leave it here, though. That was a pretty long mission, and uh, it. I'm trying to cut the recordings to be a little shorter just to make them a little easier to edit. So I'm going to end this one here because that was a very long mission. Um, I don't know if I'm going to continue with the story just yet. I might do some more tonight. Um, I might not. I don't know. Uh, but I might actually also play uh, some of my alt characters a little bit just to maybe test out a different class. Um, I have a ranger, and I also made a. Ne I, I had played it with, around with a necromancer a little bit beforehand, though. But I also made a necromancer, so I have an azure necromancer and a um, Solvari ranger. Um, I might play around with them for a little bit just to, you know, get a feel for the class and stuff like that. I still also have my level 80 boost, so I may or may not boost one of those characters to level 80. I haven't 100%, you know, decided that yet. I don't really right now know the reason to, to boost a character to level 80 because I'm still going through the story and I'm doing that with this character right now. So the only reason I would play the other characters would be to experience their personal stories which I think at the point I am right now in the personal story, all the classes are either very similar or exactly the same, except for if you choose like the Order of Whispers versus the Dermon Priory or whatever. So I don't think there's a huge difference between the um, 
the stories, once we get to this point, I feel like everybody is going to team up with like Traherne and everybody's going to do this part because it, it seems like we're, we're past the point of like your personal stuff impacting it. Like how I was in the circus and stuff like that. <laughs> like, you know, that's felt like forever ago, but I, I, I'm assuming that once I hit this point, it'll be very similar. And, um, like I just said, at this point in time, I don't really have a reason to boost another character to level 80 just yet because I'm experiencing the story with this level 80. So I don't know. I might still hold on to that level 80 boost, but I do want to maybe play around with some of the other classes just to get a feel for them. And it just gives me something to do when I'm super bored. But for now, I'm going to leave this episode here. We have successfully gotten my revenge for Forgle. I definitely want to do that, though. I thought we were killing Zaitan. That was not Zaitan. That was one of his minions the plague bringer as everybody was calling it but we killed it so suck it zaitan that's all i gotta say um anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video then please give it a like or don't that's up to you but i do hope that you'll come back and join me for more guild wars 2 i'm still addicted till next time guys bye bye